Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a fragrance scent haul to share with you. So, I have been getting a lot of requests recently to review some Trussardi perfumes, and so I went on there looking for carded samples of any that I could find. And unfortunately, I was only able to find one carded sample, so I had to buy some bottles and I've got one carded sample and three full bottles. So I've got four Trussardi perfumes here, um, which I have not been able to fully test, but I have sprayed them on and I definitely have some opinions about them already. Um, and then I've got four other perfumes. Um, I definitely have one is just a complete fail and the other three are really really good ones so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in let's start with the fail the absolute fail so I picked this one up because I see this I, I see these fragrances on Instagram all the time like I've just seen them here and there and when I saw them on fragrance set for really really inexpensive I went ahead and grabbed one um, this is a fragrance or a house called notebook I think um, or select selectiva and then it just looks like this it's called notebook and this is rose musk and vanilla I picked up a tester bottle it was like 20 bucks um, I think that they sell these in like the drug stores in the UK um, possibly like all over Europe I'm not totally sure but I picked up rose musk and vanilla because I uh, love rose and rose and vanilla I thought it was gonna be so good um, boy was I disappointed this was a total scrubber for me I sprayed this on and it uh, made me nauseous it gave me a headache and I had to scrub it off um, something about this reminds me that of the smell of flea medicine like that I put on my dogs it's so so bad I really if this is one of your favorite fragrances I am so sorry I do not mean to offend anybody but I really really hated this this is bergamot sweet orange rose lily of the valley jasmine palisander rosewood vanilla amber tonka bean and white musk this smells synthetic and just not good like I won't even spray it in the air because I don't want to smell it and just smelling it out of the bottle is kind of giving me a headache it's just so so bad it's like it's just not good at all I would not recommend this one if any of you guys have tried any of these fragrances from this brand notebook like any good ones um, definitely let me know because they do I think they've got most of them on fragrance net and I would be interested in trying more if there are good ones out there but this one is not good at all so anyways that is no notebook rose musk and vanilla the next one I picked up is another rose perfume and I had better luck with this one this is rocus and this is a secret de rocus rose intense and I picked this up just because it's a rose perfume. I also picked it up because I love the color of the liquid. It really reminds me of my Yves Rocher um, rose perfume. Oh gosh. And it smells like it too. Oh, this is such a pretty perfume. So, Rocus, this is a passion fruit, peach, red rose, rose leaf, osmanthus, amber, moss, patchouli, and musk this is so pretty it's it's like a rich um, rose fragrance but you, the musk is definitely present but it's not like overly musk it's not a cheap smelling musk I don't really I don't get any peach if I did I wouldn't like it because I really don't like peach but um, or unless it's done really well I can smell the passion fruit just a little bit, but it's more of like a tart passion fruit. It's not like a ripe smelling passion fruit. Mm. This is a good one. I'm really excited to test this one out. I haven't tested this one on the skin yet, but I'm really excited to. So anyways, that is Secret de Rocas Rose Intense. Okay, the next one I picked up is one that has been on my list to pick up for a while. Um, I finally came across this in a one ounce bottle, which I was so happy to see because I did not want a big, huge bottle of this. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, and you'll see I picked up another um, 
Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, which is what reminded me to go ahead and pick this one up. And I really like Scandal. This is, and I love that it just has the little legs hanging off the side instead of like sticking up out of the bottle. I just think it's super cute, super cute little bottle. Ugh, this is such a pretty fragrance. It definitely smells like a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance. Oh gosh, it's so good. This is like honey and orange blossom. Mm, it's syrupy. So this is blood orange, honey, patchouli, gardenia, and deep woody undertones. It is it's sweet and syrupy ugh, and just good smelling. This is one that I'm sure is going to get compliments because people like fragrances that smell like this. Ugh, it's just a good one. So I'm so glad that, to finally have this one in my collection. I've wanted it for so long. Um, so that is Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal. And then the other one I picked up, I got in a bigger bottle because number one, I couldn't find a smaller bottle. Number two, I knew I was going to love this one so much and I knew I was going to want the bigger bottle. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal à Paris. And this... This does have the little legs sticking out. And I love this one because the liquid is this really pretty light pink shade, which really matches the fragrance. Oh, this is so, so pretty. So as soon as I saw that this had pear, it's only got three notes. This is a very simple fragrance. And as soon as I saw that pear was one of the three notes, just like it's one of the only three notes in La Belle, I knew that this was probably going to smell like a cross between La Belle and Scandal, and I was not wrong about that. It really does smell like, um, it smells like if you mixed La Belle and, and Scandal, you get Scandal a Paris. Um, this one is definitely not as complex as it's got the simplicity of La Belle, and it's not as complex as Scandal, but it's got the richness of Scandal, if that makes any sense. Like, it's still beautiful and syrupy and sweet. It's not as light as La Belle, and the pear note is more of like a honeyed pear rather than a fresh pear. It's just really, really beautiful. I love this. I'm glad I got the, the big bottle of this one because um, I knew when I saw the notes I was going to love it. So this is pear, jasmine, and honey. And that's it. Really, really beautiful. I think that if you like LaBelle, if you like Scandal, you will really, really like this one because, like I say, it's as if uh, those two perfumes had a baby. And this is what came out, so... Oh, so good. So that is Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal à Paris. Let's move on to the Trussardi perfumes. The first one I picked up, I just picked this up because I was browsing them and this one looked interesting to me. This one is considered a unisex fragrance and this is called Trussardi the Black Rose. Now, this one I thought for sure I was going to love and unfortunately I do not love this. Um, this one does not smell very good on me. Um, I did test it on my skin and it just did something kind of weird. Uh, this is like a more slightly Middle Eastern style fragrance. This isn't like your typical... Um, it's definitely like not typical compared to the other two Sardis that I have. And I think in the description of this it says something about it's supposed to smell like the Saudi Arabia mountains or something like that. Saudi Arabian <laughs> mountains. Yeah, um, the bottle is pretty though. It's a really nice heavy thick bottle and it's got this rose gold cap. Um, yeah, I think some people would really like this. This just, it didn't really work on me. So this is pink pepper, vanilla, patchouli, musk, and amber. And to be honest, it's probably the pink pepper because I don't love pepper in fragrance, especially if it's really prominent. And it's not really prominent when you smell it out of the bottle, but I think on my skin, it ended up smelling really prominent. And I don't really smell any rose either, so that's part of it. It's like I don't smell rose, and I expect to, so 
I don't know. This just wasn't my favorite. So that is Trusardi, the Black Rose. The next one is one of the ones that was recommended to me and um, this was the one of the ones that I knew I was going to pick up. This is called Trusardi, the Sound of Donna. So this is a flanker to the original Donna, which that's the original Donna is the only one that I was able to find a sample card of. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's this really pretty kind of like magenta colored bottle with a silver lid. Um, yeah. So this one is supposed to be kind of a gourmand fragrance. This is another one that um, if you guys have smelled, well, if you guys have smelled that kind of pencil shaving note that is in a lot of fragrance. I, I'm assuming that it's some kind of a musk. Well, to me, that's all I can smell in this. Like, I don't smell anything else except for pencil shavings. Sometimes I like it, but in this, I really, really don't like it. And when I sprayed this on my skin, that's literally all I could smell was the pencil shavings. Um, I feel like somebody that this works on, somebody that has chemistry that this works on will probably get that gourmand note, which I will tell you right now what it is. Um, so the sound of Donna is mandarin, green almond, magnolia, tuberose, rose, heliotrope, patchouli, sandalwood, and Mont Blanc dessert. Um, and I think that somebody who whose chemistry really works with this perfume will probably really be able to smell that Mont Blanc dessert note which I can smell it slightly in the bottle but even in the bottle all I smell is pencil shavings and then when I sprayed this on my skin all I could smell is pencil shavings like I couldn't smell any like green almond or heliotrope or rose I really don't smell any rose at all yeah, really all I can smell is pencil shaving, so um, yeah, this one was kind of a fail for me, but I am glad that I got to smell it. So that is Trusardi Sound of Donna. Next one I picked up, um, this is one that has been recommended to me a couple times ever since I've been talking a lot about rose perfumes, and this is Trusardi Delicate Rose. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me that this is a really pretty rose fragrance. I am glad that I was able to get it in a smaller bottle. Um, oh, this is such a pretty, pretty fragrance. This is exactly like the name says. It is a beautiful, delicate rose smell. It's got a greenness to it, so it's like the petals and the stem. Ugh, it's good. It smells, it smells like it's really good quality. Um, so delicate roses, bamboo, kumquat, yuzu, rose, white jasmine, lotus flowers, apple, cedar, sandalwood, blonde wood, and musk. So it is the bamboo and the lotus flowers mixing with the rose that make it more of like a watery green rose. It's really, really pretty. It's more sophisticated. It's not like a sweet, um, it's not like one of those sweet fruity roses. Like there's just so many of those out there. This is more of a like more sophisticated, uh, watery green rose. Ugh, it's really, really nice. This is one of my favorite ones that I got. Um, so that is Trusardi Delicate Rose. And then last but not least is the sample card I was able to get. And this is just the regular Trusardi Donna. And I am sad that I didn't get a full bottle of this because of all of them, this one and the Delicate Rose were my favorites. Um, this one is, let's see here, yeah. Which is funny because this is a little bit on the generic smelling side. Um, let me spray it on me. Oh, gosh, but I really, really like this. Okay, so. This is yuzu, lemon, watery fruits, orange blossom, jasmine tea, lotus, white patchouli, cedar, sandalwood, and vanilla. This is a good one. This is really fresh smelling. It's slightly citric. 
very, very slightly woody. It's got a really nice, mild sweetness to it. It's very, very clean smelling. And when it dries down, you can really, really smell the vanilla. Like, this is such a nice, a nice one. Like, I'm going to um, end up reselling the other two bottles and then buying a full bottle of this because I love this. Then just the notes of the yuzu and the vanilla and the jasmine and the orange blossom, all of those notes together are just so pretty and fresh smelling and slightly sweet and very clean. Ugh, I loved this one. I was like, man, why couldn't I have gotten a full bottle of this one and a sample card of The Sound of Donna? This one is so, so good. So yeah, I will definitely be picking up a full bottle of that one. So anyways, guys, that is my latest fragrance net haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.